<clears throat> Happy focusing. Hi, uh, I'm Catherine Torpy, the executive director of the Focusing Institute. And I'm here with Ruth Hirsch, who's a member of the International Leadership Council and who teaches focusing from beginner level through advanced in certification. And this video is meant to be just a really short demonstration to give you an example of what focusing can look like. We've not rehearsed anything, so we'll see what happens. Okay. So, Ruth. <laughs> okay. So, Catherine, maybe just noticing if you're comfortable the way that you're sitting. Yeah, and just taking a few nice, full, deep breaths. Yeah, really allowing yourself to inhale deeply and to exhale completely. Yeah. And maybe just taking a moment to notice if you're comfortable the way that you're sitting. Yeah, if anything needs to be adjusted at all. Well, I'm noticing that I'm a little hot in this room, but it's not so bad that uh, that I feel any need to adjust it. I'm just noticing that. Yeah. yeah. Right, so maybe just acknowledging that. Yeah. And when you feel ready, just allowing your awareness to shift to the inside. Like to the part of your being that includes your throat and your chest, yeah, and your stomach and abdomen. Right. And once inside, maybe just noticing what's there. What might like your awareness now? Well, I noticed a smile just came immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and they're also just in here is just a little bit of um, a little like a little discomfort. I don't know if I'd call it tension. Maybe kind of right. Mostly right in here, like mm -hmm. right in my throat. Yeah, and it kind of wants me to give it a little space. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so there's a little something there in your throat and your chest, and it's showing you it wants you to give it a little space. Yeah, it feels maybe a little like, it feels like a, a very... Um, Like it's been there a long time. <laughs> you know? mm. Mm. So it's a little, it's a little, you know, rickety, like a little sort of, sort of stiff. Uh, and uh, yeah, it wants a little space. Um, it's, yeah, I can feel it's not gonna, it's not gonna get all the space it really wants right now, but it's, it can get a little more. You know. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're aware that it really does want space. Yeah. And it's something that's been there for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me smile to hear you say that back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So thank you for reflecting that. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about it being there for a long time yeah. and hearing that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it almost like there's this almost like little thrill <laughs> that comes behind, like, <sighs> you know, like, yeah, yeah, it's been there for a long time. So it's not, <clears throat> it's not gonna, it's not gonna just, you know, mm -hmm. open up. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah, so you might actually want to just check to see how it might like you to be with it. Okay. What might feel good to it? Okay. Well, it's really happy. 
that we're spending this time with uh -huh. <laughs> you and I both. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and like there's a little hint of, little hint of tears wanting to come, but not, just kind of almost like just a little, it was just a, kind of enough for me to even just say that, you know. Yeah. Like that's sort of the tears of like, oh. So, yeah, so you asked how it wants me to be with it. I think definitely like the word compassion comes mm -hmm. up right away. Mm -hmm. um, patient comes up. Mm -hmm. And as I say those words, there's another piece that's saying, yeah, okay, patient and compassionate, but like also, you know, like... <laughs> Don't just do, don't, you know, like, get, don't do nothing. Uh, okay. Okay. So it's, it's already showing you. It likes that we're both with it, that you're with it and I'm with you being with it. Yeah. And it wants you to be patient and compassionate, but not to do nothing. Like there's yeah. something, something it wants you to do. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm appreciating how. You're just saying that right back, exactly right. You know, mm -hmm. I'm really appreciating that. Uh, and yeah, that also sort of there's like this hint of of kind of that tears of like oh, somebody understands. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> <kind of laughs> somebody understands me. Sort of thing. Uh huh. Yeah. So, and then not want, yeah, and then don't do nothing. So I want to give that a little bit of attention that don't mm -hmm. do nothing. Mm -hmm. So in the, like yoga, the, you know, I do yoga. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of saying, you know, like there's some physical, there's some physical things that it's wanting. Like it's wanting me to do some physical activity that will mm -hmm. help it. Okay. Yeah, so physical activity is at least one thing it wants you to do. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. So maybe maybe more yoga or something different. You can check to see if it's it's in the yoga field or something more. Yeah, well, so yeah, so the first thing that comes is you say that is um, I do a couple of different kinds of yoga and and there's one kind that that uh, sort of one kind I do in the evening and one kind I do in the morning and I haven't been doing the morning yoga for like three weeks and uh, and it's like okay are you mm -hmm. gonna start <laughs> are, you, um, <laughs> are you thinking about getting mm -hmm. up in time to do that anytime soon so that's a piece um, that's a piece Yeah, and there's something there about com like commitment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like and self care, like like being committed to the things that keep me healthy and sane. Right. And, yeah. Right. So you might want to just let it know that you kind of hear that. Okay. okay. It's something about really making a commitment to self care to what keeps you healthy yeah it doesn't like the term self-care it's like oh. really rejecting that Good so, so kind of like a commitment to even though i know i said it but it doesn't like it mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. like more like a commitment to what works it's kind of feels more right uh -huh. <laughs> like okay. not living in la la land or not living in the illusion that oh i don't really have to get up every morning and do that i can you know like uh -huh. So kind of, kind of a yeah, like a commitment to to what to what works. Mm -hmm. It's really wanting, yeah, to, just wanting. It's wanting me to hear that. Mm -hmm. Something about a commitment to what works. Right. So it wants you to hear that yeah. commitment to what works. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, and thank you. I'm I'm kind of aware of not want you know like we're that we're on this video, and and mm -hmm. and so I'm wanting to let you know that uh, this feels like a good place for me to. Yeah, feels like a nice. Okay. I just I actually wonder before we totally stop if it would feel right just to check with this place. Yeah. Just to see if there's any final thing it might like you to know. Okay. Yeah, there's some balance between compassion and action. Okay. I, yeah, it's there's something. It's not. There's something about that um, compassion and action. Compassion and action. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. wants me to remember that. Compassion and action. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it wants you to remember that balance. Yeah. They're both important. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice word. Thank you. Balance. Yeah. Yeah. Something that's not enough, but yes, the word balance is accurate, but not the, the whole. Of, um, right. The balance of compassion and action. Yeah. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, okay, so I guess we'll shift for a moment to addressing our audience a little bit. Um, so, I, yeah, I just really want to thank you. I mean, one of the things that amazes me about focusing is, you know, even just a few minutes like that can be mm -hmm. so, like, oh, thank goodness we did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't need to be a whole hour long or even half an hour long session. I mean, it's great when you can take an hour or mm -hmm. substantial portion of time, but even just those brief things are so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I could say something if you'd like. It's yeah. uh, just to the to our people here. <laughs> um, just it's amazing first of all just how um, yeah one thing that we didn't say at the beginning is that Catherine is sitting in New York and I'm sitting in Jerusalem wow. <laughs> so we're different time zones different weather patterns and um, and it still works great so um, that's that's a nice thing but just how, with focusing itself, how powerful it is to go inside, to be able to access this place inside that has, the, has such wisdom that we might not have been aware of. Or we might have had a little glimmer of or a sense, but not being able to access it. And this session, just these few minutes, Catherine was able to access something that led to an opening that will most likely stay with her. That's uh, as opposed to many other kinds of insights that we might have and then forget about, that there's something here that in focusing when it's embodied as well as in, in the emotions and the psyche, that it uh, has a different durability to it, a different staying power. Yes, because it's an experience. It's not a thought. It's not an analysis. It's an experience. Exactly. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> so I think that feels to me like a good place maybe to end this so we don't, we could probably both go on and on because we love this so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really wanting to express my appreciation for you, Ruth. Yeah, yeah. It's just really nice to connect with you. Yeah. <laughs> so okay well have for you it's afternoon so have a good rest of your day i'm just starting my day here in new york thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay 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 bye-bye bye everybody